Thank you for calling. This is Meredith. How can I help you? Oh, uh, yeah. Somebody just hung up on me. This is Hiram D. Walker calling. Uh, I got a question about a snake I needed to ask the pet store. Okay. Is there a question that I can answer? Oh, yeah. My wife got bit by a snake. Okay. And I'm um, trying to figure out what kind of snake it was, and y'all supposed to be the pet store. Okay. Well, what did it look like? Well, I don't know. She, I wasn't out in the yard, and she had done been to the doctor this morning. Uh and uh, her vision was blurry. She had to go. She had to go see the proctometrist, and they okay. They blurred her eyes up. They deleted her pupils, and so she couldn't see where she was, what she was doing. She had her shoes off. She was out in the backyard stomping around, and she stepped on that thing, and it struck her on her foot. Okay, well, sir, there are a couple of poisonous snakes that are native to Alabama. So well, it, this it was three been... foot long. She said it was three foot long, and it was gray. Okay. Um, I mean, there are a couple of gray snakes that we have, but, um, I mean, really it's up to the doctors now since she's already been bitten. Well, the problem was one time we went down to Panama City and we went to the rattlesnake Imperium down there. You ever been down there? No. It's nice down there. You ought to go down there sometime. And we were down there at the rattlesnake Imperium in Panama City and they showed a snake on her, uh, my wife said it was, a uh, one of them copper-headed water rattlers and, and she thought that's what she stepped on. Okay, well, that's possible because we do have those in Alabama. We do have the... Well, I know we do. Well, what a, what does a copper-headed water rattler look like? They're gray and black. Are they big? Um, They can get pretty big, and they have really big heads. Big hips? Head. Yeah. Well, anyway, what do I need to do? You just need to take her to a doctor. A doctor is the only thing that can do something. Well, it better on her pinky toe. Okay, that's fine. The doctor can take care of that. And we don't know if it's poisonous or not, and she's trying to get me to uh, suck the poison out of it. Um, and I, don't I would not do advise that. to do that. I would just take her to a doctor. They can take care of it. Well, I, I mean, it, I it's ain't not, not a doctor. Poisonous. My insurance has, has done uh, uh, expired with all this Obamacare and all. So. Okay, well, there's really nothing I can do about that, sir. So. She would just have to go to the doctor. That's all I can say. If I bring her down there to the store, how late are you open? We're up until 9, but we don't have any doctors here. Well, if I bring her down to the store, can you or Megan suck the poison out of her pinky toe for me? No, sir. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you know a good veterinarian in there I could use? You can't send a human to a veterinarian. Well, Sally Jean don't care as long as somebody uh, will check that toe and make sure the snake wasn't a copperheaded water rattler. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do about it at the store. Well, you're not very helpful this morning. I, I knew I should have talked to old Megan. That's that's fine. So just just take her to the doctor. It's not terribly poisonous. She's not going to die. You're going to feel bad if she dies. Yes, I will feel bad. You want me to call you back and tell you? Uh, that would be great, yes. All right, I'll let you know. All right, thank you. Thank you for nothing.